The Rovac MK3 is a mobile vacuum skimmer system for quick recovery of most types of spilled oils, liquids, and sludge from water or ground surfaces. It is an especially effective tool for beach cleaning operations. It includes a powerful electric start four-stroke diesel motor, a double-purpose Moro vacuum pump, and a hydraulic pump to drive a high-pressure water pump. The front panel is fitted with hydraulic gauges for the vacuum pump and for the high-pressure water pump, speed control lever, and stop button. The hydraulic control lever regulates the hydraulic oil flow to both the vacuum pump and the high-pressure water pump. The vacuum pump fitted on the Rovac has a two-way valve, one direction for generating vacuum and the other one enabling pressurization of tanks for discharge of the row tanker. The Rovac MK3 system is also fitted with a safety excess vacuum valve and a high-pressure washer of 150 bars or 2,175 psi. All connections are located below the control panel of the Rovac for easy access. The high-pressure washer system consists of the water supply hose, the chemical dispenser, and the high-pressure water gun. The equipment can be used in a variety of modes according to the status of the spill, connected to the towable two or five cubic meter vacuum tank called the row tanker, connected to the vacuum head placed over a hopper with automatic discharge, connected to the vacuum head placed over a 200 liter or 55 gallon metallic drum, towable two or five cubic meter storage tank, the row tanker 2000 5000. The Rotanker 2000 has a capacity of 2 cubic meters and has been designed for a vacuum pressure up to 900 millibars. However, normal operations are between 250 to 400 millibars. The filling rate depends on the quantity and type of product available, normally 1 cubic meter per 2 to 3 minutes. The Rotanker also has an external level gauge. 3-inch Quick Connect Hose Connections Camlock Type, Spherical Flow Control Valves, and the same low impact tires as the Rovac MK3. Access hatch on bolted flange with gasket for cleaning purposes. Fitted with a rear 3-inch drain valve and internal trash screen. Row Tanker Safety Elements. The row tanker has two safety excess vacuum valves, one located at the side of the air suction connector and the other over the tank. A compound gauge, which shows pressure and vacuum, is fitted over the tank as a standard. In the unlikely event of excess pressure inside the tank, the safety release pressure valve will activate. If this valve is not enough with regard to volume, the row tanker has a carbon bursting disc fitted to the top of the tank. The row tanker has both a hitch and hand-operated wheel brake to secure parking when at rest. As an alternative to the row tank, the Rovac unit can be used with a Desmi vacuum dome placed over a 55-gallon metallic drum. The vacuum head can also be placed over the Desmi hopper with an automatic discharge system. The vacuum dome is also supplied with a compound gauge, safety excess vacuum pump valve, and a capacity relief valve connected to an internal float. The semi-rigid hose set fitted with quick-release camlock coupling allows for easy system connections without the use of special tools. The Rovac MK3 vacuum system also includes an aluminum handheld suction lance. With three different aluminum nozzles, choose the most suitable nozzle for the job. Viscous spillage on mud, sand, larger or deeper pools of pollution, 
larger solids, or contaminated seaweed or other vegetation. Round plane nozzle, general purpose, but primarily thin layer spillage onto large, flat ground surfaces. Narrow cleaning nozzle, smaller gaps between floor slabs. For large oil spills in water, and when the water depth is over 30 centimeters or 12 inches, you can use the aluminum lance with nozzles. The Desmi Minimax Weir Skimmer for selective oil recuperation. Before operation, when using the system, all personnel shall have their personal protection equipment, feet, hands, eyes, ears, and head properly protected. They should also wear overalls or suitable work clothes. In all accidental spill conditions, it is essential at an early stage before recovery to establish what type of substances are being dealt with, such as oils, acids, alkalis, corrosive liquids, etc., so that a decision can be made whether it is safe to proceed or not with mechanical recovery or if alternative methods should be used. Remember, do not test the strength of the vacuum by placing one's hand over the air inlet or the connection on the Rovac. Doing this can cause injury. Before starting the Rovac, stabilize the units. Ensure all tires of the Rovac and row tanker are touching the ground before loading the tank. Always make sure that nobody is in the danger area and that there are no moving parts on engines or machinery. Always operate the system located in front of the control panel. Keep a safe distance. Identify the shorter 10 meter rigid hose. This shall always be used for air suction, never product, and shall be kept clean for its use with the Rovac system. Connect the hose with the male coupling to the female Rovac quick connector. The female quick release coupling of this hose is connected to the air suction pipe fitted with a male quick connector of the storage tank or vacuum head. Connect the 20 meter rigid hose to the female connector on the upper part of the tank or vacuum head to the male coupling of the aluminum tool or weir skimmer. Check for all the sealing rings of the female camlock couplings to avoid loss of suction or efficiency. Select the nozzle type best suited to the job to be done. Before starting the unit, check the fuel and oil level on the diesel engine. Hydraulic oil level and vacuum pump lubricating oil. Refill if necessary. It is recommended that all the tanks remain full to avoid inside tank oxidation and fluid pollution. Open the drainage valve of the moisture trap. Drain the oil from the oil separator and close them again. Open the upper valves of the row tanker to allow the air to get out and the product to go inside. Close the valve located in the lower part of the tank. The Rovac should not be started or operated with the valves or hoses closed. The high vacuum level created on the hoses without air circulating will produce overheating of the unit. Check that the hydraulic control lever and the vacuum control lever are in the neutral and off position. Insert the ignition key. Set the throttle control lever to the run position and turn the ignition key until the control lamps, alternator, and engine lubrication oil light up. The key should spring back to its previous position and remain there during engine operation. Control lamps, alternator, and engine lubrication oil must go out immediately once the engine has started. Warm the engine up without load for a short time of two to five minutes. Slowly increase engine speed to a maximum. Check that the hydraulic control lever and the vacuum control lever 
are in the neutral and off position. Progressively reduce engine speed to the idle position. Prior to shutting down the engine, allow it to run at low speed to cool down. Pull on the stop knob until the engine stops completely. Turn the ignition key to the off position and remove the key. For long-term storage, it is recommended to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. With the engine speed at maximum, all the connections secured and the flow valves opened, move the hydraulic control lever to the vacuum pump position. In this position, the vacuum pump of the ROVAC unit is activated. Be sure the operator holds the aluminum tool firmly and he is ready to begin vacuuming operations. Then move the vacuum control lever to the suction position to begin the operation. Never test the vacuum intensity using one's hand. If the vacuum pump runs without proper lubrication, it overheats and can lock up with consequent damage. Once the recovery operation has begun, the operator should check for dripping lubrication in the suction pump, approximately 10 drops per minute, storage tank level, hydraulic fluid tank level. Secure the system and working area for optimal performance and excellent results. The sweep operation of the suction tool should be, as much as possible, uniform, allowing the major part of the pollutant to go into the storage tank. Avoid submerging the aluminum tool nozzle completely in the water or product. The air flowing through the aluminum lance carries the product faster. When the tank is full, stop the operation, returning the vacuum control lever to the off position. When the row tanker is full, it can be emptied by gravity. Simply open the drain valve located in the lower part of the tank or using an external pump. If it is required to lift the discharge or speed up the emptying of the tank, the ROVAC system can be used to pressurize the tank. Close the valve that connects the tank with the aluminum recovery tool. With the engine speed at maximum and all the connections secured, move the hydraulic control lever to vacuum pump position. Then, move the vacuum control lever to the delivery position to pressurize the tank and discharge the product. Operation of the high pressure cleaner. Connect a half inch water supply hose to the water source. Check that the suction filter is fitted at the inlet and completely submerged in the water. Connect a 3 8 inch high pressure hose with the hand lance at one end to the screw coupling. With the engine speed at maximum and all the connections secured, move the hydraulic control lever to the high pressure pump position. In this position, the high pressure washer pump is activated. Pull the water gun trigger, wait a few seconds, and dispense the detergent or degreaser as needed. Do not operate the high pressure pump without the pump being connected to a water source. To finish the operation, move the hydraulic control lever to the neutral position and slowly reduce the engine speed to the idle position. For the safety of personnel, it is essential that great care is taken to point the water gun in a safe direction, normally with the nozzle facing the ground. Always wear eye protection. Maintenance. The following are some recommendations. Lubricate the engine throttle lever with motor oil and the hydraulic control levers and hinges with lithium grease. Tighten all hydraulic connections and couplings as well as screws and nuts after the first five hours of operation. After that, you have to retighten after every 150 hours of operation. Check the battery electrolyte level and battery terminals and lead connections for signs of corrosion. Start up the engine 5 to 10 minutes to low speed and 25 to 30 minutes to medium speed every three weeks. Desme also recommends checking the lubrication oil level of the diesel motor, vacuum pump, and plunger pump. 
Refill them to the maximum level if needed. The unit is delivered with a 5-liter can of Mobile 100 DTE oil. You can use any oil with similar specifications. We recommend changing the oil every 250 hours or at least every 6 months. Change filters every 500 hours or once per year. Thank you for becoming part of the Desmi Oil Spill Control Team. If you need additional assistance regarding maintenance and or operation, please do not hesitate to contact us. Desmi Specialized Technicians will be glad to assist you.